Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. How are you? In this episode, I'd like to show you new features in the SharePoint page uh, background uh, possibilities. So I'm now in a team site, but it can be also a communication site. What we'll do is I will click on the edit and then I will go to the settings, to the section settings. So I'll click on edit sections and here, in addition to the backgrounds that you have here, we had all of these uh, backgrounds that we could change, as you can see now. But now the new thing is that you can change the background and use your own background, not only the specific ones you had. So if we want to change it, what we can do is I'll just clear it. I will add a background and I can upload or I can search for a background here. So let's look for a background that we have here. For instance, let's have uh, this person. And once it uploads, then you will see the person, the image actually here. Now you can do the additional uh, adjustments. You can see here that you can fill the mode. You can uh, play here with the overlay and opacity. So you see now that we have um, lighter and greater. You can fill mode uh, scale to field, scale to fit. And here you can also background alignments. So you can align to the bottom, to the center, to the top, to the right or left. Let's, you can also set the fill mode to a title and put the original uh, size. So this is actually what we can do and we can also adjust the colors. Uh, as you see, we can keep it like this. Now, in addition, let's just set it like that. Let's see what we have here. So we can change again. What we can do is we have advanced editing. So here, just like you, you could do in any image, what we can do is first of all, crop it. So we can crop it like this. By default, it does this. Then we can uh, make it on some kind of a curve. Now you can do additional things like adjustments. So we can adjust the brightness and the exposure and the contrast. It's all things that you can do actually with an image on a web page. You can see here the, um, the zooming and you can adjust some filters. So the original is like this, but we can make it calm or we can do it uh, this way and we can play around and do lots of things here. If we want to move the focal point, so you see here, this is one by five, this is um, 16 by nine. And we can say, if we move it to here, this is how it's going to look. If you move it to here, it will look like that. And you can see a preview actually what's going to happen. So if we're satisfied, what we can do is just to save it. And now we see actually uh, how it looks. Uh, if we're not happy with it, of course, we can go again and adjust it. We can also maybe uh, do anything we want to set it to to something we want. Let's just uh, uh, change it and upload something different. Let's look for the web and let's take this background. Uh, I think this is nice. And let's see once it's upload, then we can uh, adjust the things. So um, let's go down. And we can fit it to the original size, or we can just uh, scale to fit. 
and we can do all of these things. Of course, we need to get to know it and play around and get to the uh, perfect uh, image that we want. By the way, we can, as we said, we can crop it and if we, we're happy, we can save it and we can actually adjust it to any image we want. So currently, this is what I wanted to show you. It's a first look um, and you're welcome to watch uh, additional uh, videos. So if you like my channel, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.